Welcome everyone to the FN Studios. I am John Ramdean and this is Fight News Now Extra. Robin Black and I will discuss some of MMA's biggest stories and add our two cents. In the news today, a bunch of UFC fighters lose their gig. Another UFC champion has spoken about the Reebok deal and Leslie Smith beats down a groper. The Ultimate Fighting Championship has pared down their roster according to a number of sources. Ten fighters, including the entertaining game and formerly top-ranked Tim Elliott. UFC featherweight King Jose Aldo has been vocal about the UFC's new sponsorship deal with sports apparel giant Reebok. The Brazilian, like many of the company's fighters, are displeased with the new deal, which is set to start on July 1st. Aldo feels that the fighters are going to lose and that it may be time to form a union. Female Bantamweight UFC fighter Leslie Smith came to the aid of a friend when she was allegedly sexually assaulted at a California nightclub. According to Caesar Gracie, a male walked past the friend of Smith and grabbed her backside. When confronted by Smith, the male spit in her face and threw a punch intended for Smith. Taking the fight to the ground, Smith landed multiple elbows that prompted an apology. Coming up on Saturday, we are getting you set for UFC Fight Night in New Orleans. Tim Boach taking on the legendary Dan Henderson. Our preview show set to go down at 7 p.m. Eastern. And then keep it locked to FN at 8 p.m. as we present the prelims, including that heavyweight tilt between Derek Lewis and Sean Jordan. 10 p.m. sees the main card on TSN, including the main event between Tim Boach and Dan Henderson. And another heavyweight matchup as Big Ben Rothwell takes on Matt Mitrione. Joined by my good buddy Robin Black coming up this weekend in Alberta. I guess not the weekend, on Friday. That's uh, the weekend. Yeah, it starts starting in the weekend. Weekend starts now. <laughs> the World Series of Fighting goes down. Our buddy Chris Horodesky in the main event against a very dangerous Lance Palmer. Uh, DJ Dillashaw told me this guy is just a different level. He's, he's one of those typical wrestlers in the mentality of just grind, get through everything, push everybody as hard as you can. But Chris Hordesky tra training now at the TriStar Gym has that veteran status in the sense that, you know, raised by Sean Tompkins yeah. and that tough Muay Thai style has been all over training, now training at the home of George St. Pierre and Rory McDonald. Uh, what do you anticipate from this matchup? This level is a scary one. Cool. I mean, you are fighting for a title, and it's a legitimate title. But, I mean, you're fighting top ten guys in the yeah. world at this point. Both these guys are. And it's a tricky one. You know that Palmer in rounds four and rounds five is not going to fatigue. Yeah, you know, no. he's just not. So you got to hurt him. You got to get in there. You got to make him pay for shooting. The first round, be mentally strong. I mean, although it's a different comparison because Cormier is the wrestler. When Cormier was facing Anthony Johnson, he talked about handling his power is a mindset. It's a mindset. Yes, Anthony Johnson knocks other guys out, but I, Daniel Cormier, believe that's a mindset. I can believe my way into not being knocked out. What happens? Overhand right drops, mindset right back to his feet. The mind is a very strong thing. Hordeski has to go in there mentally strong, thinking, so what? He's an elite wrestler. I deal with elite wrestlers in the room at TriStar all the time. He's not going to get me down. And on the weird off chance he gets me down, I'm going to get back up. It's going to be a mindset. It's going to be a mindset by Hordeski for 2,500 minutes. Is this essentially an audition when you look at the landscape of mixed martial arts? We know about the World Series of Fighting. They put on great shows, but the big show is the UFC. And, you know, with the uncertainty of the future of World Series of Fighting, you would imagine that these guys are ready to put on a show that if the UFC comes calling, they'll be ready. We saw the number one contender, the unofficial number one contender for the World Series of Fighting 135 pound bout. Uh, last weekend at Global Warriors in Ontario, Josh Hill and Josh Reddinghouse fought. They both lost to the top guy, but they're two and three, so one of them's going to probably get a rematch at some point. I asked Josh after, and he said, I want the rematch for the World Series of Fighting title. Wow. He wants that. That's what he wants to do. You want to be a champion. Marlon Moraes is a legit yeah, champion. This is a legit 145-pound belt. Yes, the long-term goal, you got to be with the Leviathan. You got to be with the UFC. Reebok deal or no Reebok deal? Because that whole thing is going to all wash mm -hmm. itself out in a year when everyone's looking cool in Reebok outfits. <laughs> they've all forgotten about the money they've lost or found new ways to make it. It'll be a wash. It's still where you got to be. But right now, right this minute, these guys want to wear that World Series of Fighting belt. It's a real thing, especially for a young fighter. Uh, you look at a girl like Jessica Aguilar, though. She had the conversation with the World Series of Fighting. Obviously, the most money you can make to be a champion is in the UFC. Uh, 
why would somebody decide to stay at the World Series of Fighting? Obviously, when you're, you're talking about championship status here, they're getting quite the paycheck. Yeah, I think so. It's a tricky one because even Marlon Moraes right now, he's beating good guys. Both those, Josh Hill and Reddinghouse, are both getting into that top 25. Hard, hard 25 minutes with those young guys. And they're going to give yeah. anybody yeah. problems on yeah. any. It doesn't matter where you're ranked. I'm sure there's guys that are ranked in the top five that might give these guys problems. But you look at the lower end of the division, they'll be very yeah. competitive with them for sure. Yeah, and, and so now you're Marais, you have beaten these guys. You've beaten these top guys there. What are they going to keep finding it one more and one more? Eventually you want to go, no, I'm going to beat TJ Dillashaw one day. And he ain't coming over to the World Series fighting. you got to go to him. So it's cool. You have your belt. You defend it. Hardcore MMA fans know. But we talked, you, you know, I talked to my mother, and she's like, oh, do you commentate the UFC. And I, said, I don't commentate the UFC. I work in mixed martial arts. But that's what people think mixed martial arts is. It's the UFC. Nobody says, really? You work for the World Series of Fighting. Do you go to the gym and train double? WSOF, it's just, it's yeah. never going to reach that level. So Marlon Moraes wants to be the best. You know, uh, Hordesky wants to be the best. These guys want to. They can be very proud of that World Series of Fighting title, but one day they got to go further. I agree 100%. And a guy that I think is going to go very far, and we talked about it, Smolino Rama, yeah. uh, one of the top prospects of mixed martial arts, taking on a tough guy in Blagoy Ivanov, the man that beat Fedor in Sambo competition. Uh, going to be a great step up in competition, and uh, we're, I think we're going to get to see some real flow, some real action, and I wouldn't be surprised if it stole the show. I think so. This Smilio Rama guy would be easy to underestimate. He's from Alberta, Canada. You know, people don't know a lot about him. He's very special, though. The way he performs is very special. His confidence, even later in the fight when heavyweights fatigue, you can't fatigue him mentally. Very, very good fighter, very special heavyweight. The question is, like we're the same conversation we're chatting around, is how many fights do they have him for? Mm -hmm. Two more? Great. He can go and fight there. But eventually, the, there aren't that many great heavyweights in the world. The UFC will want him. They'll either pay him a little more or give him a little more opportunity. And again, like you said, it comes down to his contract. But I imagine you go and you stop this guy. You look impressive. The UFC is going to come him. knocking sooner rather him. than later. That is it for us. Uh, don't go anywhere. More Fight News Now Extra is still coming your way. So don't change the channel.